August. Rosanna was about 15 and Brian was about 13. And we were in Boscov's one day and Boscov's had a pet department that was going out of business. And I walked down there and they had these little puppies for $69.95. There was a farmer was selling their mixed breed, half husky, half lab. And Boscov's agreed to sell them for him. And there were two left, a brown female and this little black male dog. So I went and said to Miriam, I found the dog we were looking for. And she said, we were looking for a dog? Yeah, 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 come on, I'm going to show you this dog. We're going to buy him. We go down and look at the dog. And they, the, they take the dogs out. And one dog almost pees on Miriam. And she puts it down. She says, this dog pees. I don't want this dog. And so this little black dog, though, he's probably figured this out. He said, well, I'll just cuddle with her. And I'll give her my sad look. And she'll feel sorry for me. So we're going to buy this dog. But there's a catch. I'm going away for four days to a war game convention. You're not saddling me with this dog. We'll see if they'll hold them. If they won't hold them, we're not buying them. I said, I'll hold them till Monday. Or Sunday. I was coming back Sunday. He'll hold them till Sunday. I said, fine, I'll be out Sunday again. We paid for them. So now the big argument. What are we going to call this dog? Well, Brian says he's a black dog with white socks. We call him Bo. They're Bo Jackson. Yeah, I don't think so. Roseanne says, we'll call him Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> no, Roseanne, definitely not. Miriam goes, well, how about Clancy? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I said to the, the clerk, when was this dog born so that we know to tell the vet? Oh, he was born June 30th. Now, June 30th is my wife's grandmother's birthday. Her name was Roseanne McHugh. Now, Roseanne was named after her, so we can't call the dog Roseanne. So we'll call the dog McHugh. And thus, into our lives comes this little... A little, little pump, pump of a dog, and we're going to call him the cube. So we take him up to see friends of ours. First place we go is to see the McDonald's, and we're going to show him this dog. He says, oh, this dog's going to be gigantic. Look at the paws. He says, he's going to be about 75 pounds. He's not going to be that big. Because I had big dogs. I had shepherds that were 125 pounds. This dog's not going to be that big. So we have this little dog, and he gets housebroken in about three, four days. And he's grown, and he starts crying. And Miriam says, no, you know, I said, he has to come downstairs with us. Dogs are social animals. Well, I don't want him running around my house. When we're not here, he's going to be tied up. Okay. So when we're downstairs, he comes down. Uh, you see, it was about a week, and he was uh, in the, in, it was, I had him boarded in the kitchen, and he climbed over the board because he got bigger, and he was able to move around. And he started crying, and of course she said, well, we can bring him in here. No, we're not bringing him in the bedroom. We can go out and pet him, and we'll let him lay out here outside. And so then he started eventually getting the run of the house, and he basically could, had the whole house, because he was housebroken. Didn't really destroy anything until one Christ, it was Christmas, and my wife used to set out things. One of the things she set out was all these little villages across the one, ban one shelves that we had down in our family room little houses, little villages, and some greens, and we used to call it Eckley, Jetta, Harley, Freeland, because it was like that kind of situation. And she decorated a lot, and she had these Russian monks, paper mache monks, that were big, small, and small. When we came in from going out, I went downstairs and put the light on the dogs down there, and all you could see is this rolled up stuff. And I thought, oh, tell me this dog is dog crap all over the place and was throwing it around, because puppies do that. They would throw their feces all over them. But wait, that doesn't smell. What, what is this stuff? I pick up a piece and I'm looking at it and all of a sudden I see a little tad of red paint and it was a monk. Okay, McHugh, who killed the monk? He puts his head down like, <laughs> must have been those dogs across the street. It wasn't me. I chased them away. The only thing he ever took was the story was the, was the monk. And for the next 16 and a half years, we could tell McHugh stories. Now, you see it, like, I have to pull mm -hmm. the Vsauce Simba. Oh, I pulled him yesterday when I took him for a walk. No, but Vsauce is another dog. He'll pull you. Does he do that to you a lot? What? Pull me when he sees another dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he gets like a, like a young dog. He thinks he's twin, uh, uh, two again. But now going home, we're doing this. It's like you take all this. Man is dragging his dog. <laughs> yeah, well.
Come on, look. Come on. Let's go. Get your breath. And it's a good boy. Come on. Every day he ate, it's like, not one day, but maybe five or six days. 